Hi. So today we will start with constructions. The first topic would be construction of similar triangles. Now before moving on to this topic, one should know how to draw triangles by the given information. If all the three sides are given or one angle and two sides are given or two angles and one side is given. Okay. So that we have learned in the lower class as well. Now moving further, we'll directly take first question. Uh, we have two triangles ABC and element which are similar to each other. The information about triangle ABC is given. Okay. All the three sides of ABC are given to us and we have to draw both the triangles where the ratio of the sides that is BC upon MN is given as 5 by 4. Now we'll start with the construction of a rough diagram. Now, as you know, the information about triangle ABC is already given. So we can easily draw triangle ABC by the given dimensions. That won't be a problem. And the other triangle that is LMN. Now we know the triangle is a similar triangles. Now similar triangles have equal angles and their ratio of the side is same. Okay. So, but the triangle might be bigger than the given triangle or smaller than the given triangle. How will we decide it? We can see our first, our ratio that is BC upon MN is 5 by 4. 5 is greater than 4, right? 5 corresponds to the side BC and BC belongs to the triangle ABC. Hence, triangle ABC is a larger triangle and LMN is a smaller triangle. Okay, so the triangle which we require will be a smaller one. But we still don't know the sides of LMN. For that, we require some calculations. Now, we know that both the triangles are similar and the ratio of the sides is always same and the ratio is given as 5 by 4. We will take the first ratio that is AB upon LM as 5 by 4. We know the value of AB that is 5.5. We'll substitute in the equation and cross multiply it and find out the value of LM that will be 4.4 centimeters. Exactly in the same way, we have the second ratio BC upon MN is given as 5 by 4. We know the value of BC, we'll substitute it, simplify it and we'll get the value of MN as 5.2. And the third ratio, AC upon LN, substitute the value of AC, calculate it and we will get the value of LN as 3.6. Now we know all the three sides of triangle LMN. Now the easy task, construction of both the triangles. Now as all the three sides are given, okay, the longest side is to be, is to be taken as base. BC is 6 centimeters, BA is 5.5, so we'll draw a mark of 5.5 from point B. AC is 4.4, so we'll draw an arc of 4.5 centimeters from point C and we'll get point A. We'll join the lines to get triangle ABC. Exactly the same way, all the three sides of LMN are known, so we will draw triangle LMN as well. Okay, so in this question, two triangles, two separate triangles were given. The dimension of one of the triangle was given and the ratio of the sides was given. So using that ratio, we have calculated the sides of the other triangle. Okay. Now moving on to the next question. Now in this question, we have triangle PQR is similar to triangle LTR and the dimensions of triangle PQR is given. PQR are given and we have to construct triangle PQR and LTR when the sides of the ratio is given as 3 is to 4. Now again, our rough diagram. We know triangle PQR, we can draw that easily. All the three sides are given. Now, the interesting thing to note here is in triangle PQR and triangle LTR, point R is a common point, right? In the previous question, there was no common point, but this has a common point. Hence, the triangle will be joined at point R and hence one of the triangle will lie inside the other. Now, which is the larger triangle? Again, you can see the ratio PQ upon LT is 3 by 4. PQ corresponds to 3. So that is the smaller side and triangle PQR will be a smaller triangle. Hence, triangle LTR will be the larger triangle. Hence, you can look at your rough diagram. LTR will be the larger triangle and PQR will be the smaller triangle. Now, in these type of questions, calculations are not required. We can directly start with our construction. We will first draw triangle PQR as all the three sides are given. 
that would be easy to draw using the arcs then we have to extend rq and rp to some point then now watch very carefully from here from point r we need to draw a line at any suitable angle okay and then divide that line in four equal parts we have divided in four equal parts as a ratio 3 is to 4 the maximum part is 4 right hence we have divided into four equal parts now we have already drawn triangle pqr and you can see from the given ratio 3 corresponds to side pq okay so triangle pqr is the third part and triangle ltr is the fourth part it's a little larger than it so from third part i'll draw a line which joins point q and from the fourth part i'll draw a line which is parallel to the line we have drawn just now and wherever that line intersects the base that point will be point t okay and once we get point t from t we have to draw a line which is parallel to qp which intersects the line rp at point l so we will get our triangle l t r as well okay let's have a look at it again now we have drawn our triangle pqr we need to extend rq and rp then we have to draw a line from point r at any suitable angle any angle you like divide that line into four equal parts using your compass from the third part we have to join point q and from the fourth part we have to draw a line which is parallel to the line we have just drawn now the point of intersection of the lines which we will get will be point t we can see it from the rough diagram okay point t and from point t we have to draw a line which is parallel to pq which will intersect the line rp at point l so this is how you will get your triangle ltr now here are a couple of questions which you can try on your own 